Okay, uh, so uh, for the first part, uh, we are using CF Turbo, CF Turbo Machinery, which is a very useful tool when you are uh, creating your uh, pump. Uh, so it, it's based uh, on empirical equation, so it's very useful and I'll show you how to make a pump using CFT. Okay, so first of all we have to create new project. We select pump. For the pump we need to define uh, three different things. So uh, first of all uh, we said that we have some point which is 5 liter per minute and uh, for the uh, head uh, we uh, have had about 120 millimeter mercury which is equivalent to 1.56 uh, meter uh, and for uh, uh, the uh, revolution uh, rpm we have about uh, 4000 rpm okay so we we can see directly uh, what these values are affecting so uh, uh, the specific speed is created uh, automatically and upon the uh, specific speed uh, the program can uh, know uh, where uh, the type of pump so we have here is radial flow here is axial flow and mixed flow in between so upon the uh, specific speed we can know the type of pump if we change it uh, using 3000 rpm we can see the um, uh, type of pump is uh, automatically changing okay so after that uh, we uh, have to uh, design uh, the uh, we have to enter a new float so it's basically not here because it's not common that you uh, uh, make pump on plot so you have to enter a new uh, material so uh, basically uh, we have to enter a new material which is plot for the plot we can define a density which is about from 100, uh, 1040 to uh, 1060 so we take about an average value of 1050 Okay, uh, dynamic viscosity and thermal conductivity and the capacity all of these uh, you should uh, revise uh, these uh, uh, values so you can enter it's about research and uh, you can take an average value okay so uh, we will uh, you have to save it okay Okay, so uh, our uh, new material is here defined. Uh, for uh, the inlet condition, uh, for the uh, total pressure, uh, it may be set to one bar, or you uh, may add the inlet pressure uh, which we here talked about, uh, which is uh, three to twelve uh, millimeter mercury. So you can add uh, about 8 millimeter mercury so I think uh, it won't make such difference uh, for temperature uh, human body temperature is about uh, 3.6 to 3.7 that's an approximate value of course so um, here we define the, the uh, flow rate the head and the RPM okay uh, here we define the uh, fluid uh, and the properties of the fluid okay uh, and also you can uh, uh, there is a library for the thief turbo that you have most of the common fluids so uh, feel free to uh, absorb this and modify the flows if you want okay okay so we define the operating point click OK Okay, so uh, we will start with radial mixed flow impeller. Uh, first of all, we have to define the dimensions. Okay, 
So, uh, see if turbo uh, based on empirical equations and empirical equations based on the given flow rate and head, uh, he can predict the dimension needed for the uh, for the pump. So, uh, you can uh, go for the dimension uh, predicted by the CF turbo or you can add your own dimensions. Uh, for our case, uh, I think we have uh, uh, pretty much uh, concert research about uh, the dimensions. So, uh, we will go for our dimensions, which we are pretty sure about it. So, uh, for uh, the hub diameter, we will have uh, 4 millimeter. Uh, suction diameter we will have about 11 millimeter and builder diameter uh, make it uh, 26 and out the 12 uh, make it uh, 3 okay okay uh, sorry okay so uh, if you press ok we will see that the thief turbo has created the impeller profile. This is the hop diameter, which is set to be four uh, four meter, four a uh, millimeter. Uh, so the radius is about two millimeter. This is the uh, suction diameter, which is set to eleven. Half of it is five point five, and uh, this is the uh, outlet uh, outlet width is about three millimeter as you can see and uh, here is the impeller uh, diameter uh, which is 26 divided by 2 uh, of course equals 13 millimeter okay so uh, uh, other things uh, you can uh, enter uh, is the material density and here we can select a, 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 a library of materials uh, I don't think it uh, shall um, uh, uh, defer the values, but if you uh, want to go for it, okay, go ahead. And uh, for the unshrouded and splitter plate, we shall uh, uh, explain it uh, furthermore. Uh, for the parameters, uh, you can set it uh, automatic or you can define the parameters if you have a previous study about it. Okay, so uh, for the dimension, yeah, we have entered these dimensions uh, with a factor of safety of 1.15 is almost correct. Uh, so, uh, direct receive turbo brings you the values, you can see them if you want. and. Uh, yeah, uh, these are the uh, velocity triangles also uh, done automatically by the CF tip. Okay, so uh, from this uh, menu, we can go just to measure contour, which is uh, after it. Okay, so here uh, you can uh, change the uh, layout of the points of the impeller. So, uh, uh, for here you can change this point if you want it to be more like this or more like this you can feel free about it uh, more over uh, you can change the uh, layout you okay uh, we can change uh, the uh, uh, the diagram of the impeller if you want so uh, you can uh, change the uh, length okay we you can change the, the also uh, the angle okay uh, yeah uh, you can change many stuffs here but I would like it to be set at uh, uh, a program set so we have to cancel what we have done and open it again so uh, we have it program set just normal impeller okay and there is another uh, option if you want you can add a uh, thickness uh, to uh, the impeller uh, so you, when activating this it has entered a thickness uh, for the impeller uh, as you can see here okay uh, uh, activating flow path uh, this is uh, activating the uh, the path which flows escaping from the impeller 
So for initial uh, study, we want to activate uh, this part or activating the uh, this part. We will have just simple uh, input. Okay, okay. And also uh, we have uh, previews which can uh, be uh, uh, seen by the uh, CF server directly. Uh, we have also uh, many uh, useful data about the curvature, about uh, the uh, metronium velocity, which is also uh, projected by uh, CFT. Okay. Okay. For the plate properties, so uh, here you enter the uh, number of plates number of plates uh, for uh, for us we uh, based on a previous research we have decided that the number of plates we are using is about uh, four to six plates and uh, so uh, he is automatically uh, uh, made it uh, to six plates uh, number of spans is mostly uh, number of plates uh, minus one okay uh, so uh, plates uh, we will uh, use freeform 3d uh, with a leading edge okay we have previous values set for the leading edge and trailing edge so and it's based uh, mostly on the uh, manufacturer uh, ability so for us we can't uh, manufacture uh, uh, a thing that is less than one millimeter yeah. if if you said that uh, we have to create 0.5 millimeter that's not common so we will go for the one millimeter uh, so uh, what is the uh, leading edge reeling edge is the uh, this is the leading edge and this is the drilling edge okay and we have we here uh, go to uh, check the plate uh, angles so uh, uh, we will uncheck this automatic box and yeah based on previous study we know that uh, our uh, plate angles is laying between 20 and 25 so we choose 20 which is most common uh, as you can see uh, here it's it's all right and the program is satisfied with it so yeah uh, we have created uh, our uh, plates okay this is also the uh, uh, the velocity triangles you can uh, here see uh, the uh, um, the values uh, calculated using the empirical equations uh, using the CF turbo uh, for the leading edge and trailing edge so you can see here's the diameter angle of absolute angle of relative and most common you will go to uh, relative velocity and uh, work and all other components uh, so talk and heads that's what you are going to have at last so it's based on empirical equations it's uh, all right you can uh, see it here uh, this is the uh, uh, the values uh, suggested by CF Turbo I don't think it really care if you uh, ch uh, just change it okay so we uh, calculated here the play properties next we uh, have to create the plate mean lines and uh, uh, we have uh, uh, so uh, you can change the plate mean lines by changing it and dragging it so we have a previous set uh, upon the uh, wrap angle uh, we have previous set value which is about 110 okay Okay, uh, I think we should have to uh, unship coupled midlines, and uh, uh, we have, uh, as we said, uh, wrap angle. We have uh, 
a previous set trap angle so it's uh, very uh, useful so uh, also here uh, uh, you can see uh, the tangential coordinate uh, with what you want if you want to uh, see the static pressure or the total pressure or uh, absolute velocity feel free to discover it additional view also you can see a 3d view of the plates so uh, we have the uh, wrap angle uh, so if we change it to 90 let's see that it's automatically defined if we change it to 30 okay uh, that's, that's of course wrong but uh, we have uh, to have it at one, 110 okay so after this value we uh, go to the profiles which is uh, the default design so uh, you here you here have uh, many options so uh, this is basically what controls the uh, profile of uh, the, the plate so uh, you have control points which you can uh, 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 change so if we choose it to be 6 uh, ok uh, so uh, we can play with the profile if you want but for uh, the uh, for the manufacturer issue we choose it to be uh, just uh, uh, two points and uniform to be easy in manufacture uh, you can also uh, see if you want to change any of these but we won't go for it so I have to cancel Red profile and just this is the uh, profile that we have so if you entered uh, this plate profile and you saw that it has this so you have to uh, change this and it will come uh, almost uniform profile Okay. So uh, for the blade edges, blade edges uh, we have the leading edge which the flow enters, we have the drilling edge with the flow escapes. So uh, we have the drilling edge, uh, so we set to ellipse with axis ratio uh, of 3 which is most common and uh, here you can see also a 3D profile of it. So if you change this, this will change for the trilling, for the leading edge, and for the trilling edge is set uh, by uh, default on trimming, uh, which is uh, most common for uh, bigger pumps. So after here, uh, we can set the, the CDF setup, which we'll explain in another video, and uh, model setting. Here uh, you can uh, set values uh, for the tolerance, uh, but you will go with the uh, program set. And finally, we here to uh, model finishing. So uh, if we choose no model finishing and select the 3D model, so we here have uh, the uh, uh, impeller. This is uh, uh, our impeller with uh, six plate. Uh, here we you have uh, many things to uh, choose from. Uh, this is default, which uh, is showing you the default uh, uh, interface of the uh, impeller, and uh, you can set it to a CD, uh, uh, CFD setup, and we will go uh, for it in another video. Okay, so uh, basically we will uh, have it in uh, default mode, and for here we, if we uh, choose extend plate uh, only, you here can see uh, uh, the employer with the plates in a uh, more uniform uh, state so um, basically uh, you have the uh, suction diameter which is this diameter we will uh, we have set it to 11 and we have the um, uh, hub diameter uh, which is uh, uh, set to 4 millimeter 
this is the uh, outlet diameter okay and this is the leading edge and this is the trailing edge okay this is the uh, charade of course okay so uh, here you have uh, many things to uh, you know uh, so you can here uh, uh, rotate the impair uh, check uh, it is speed if you want uh, and uh, you can here have a section in plate so you can see uh, what's uh, moving okay um, so uh, the, here is uh, your impair okay uh, so uh, for the impeller uh, back to Mediterranean uh, we have to create the volute so to make a volute it's very simple you just tab in or uh, you can uh, as, uh, set here uh, create new component new volute okay so uh, we have uh, a single uh, volute and a double volute option uh, for uh, most common pipes are using uh, the uh, single volute but double volute pipe you can uh, research for it it's uh, most common used for the higher uh, specific speeds so uh, also here you can define the uh, vo uh, volumetric efficiency and uh, f for the flow factor or can set it to default for uh, the inlet diameter uh, here it's the diameter of the impeller which we have set to 26 so uh, uh, see if turbo just uh, predict the value of the uh, volute uh, uh, you can have it which is uh, right here uh, which is 20, 28.4 this is the impeller diameter and this is the volute diameter you can change this value okay to 26 and you can see they are uh, coincide on each other and uh, inlet width is set to 5.2 okay uh, no problem so uh, in here you can uh, uh, check if you uh, want to uh, change all these values uh, including uh, the uh, angle or the uh, offset or uh, these values okay so we here uh, have the uh, values calculated also by cf2 okay so uh, we have this to be uh, the out outlet and pillar uh, width outlet and pillar diameter which is 26 okay so uh, we have already defined this uh, for the cross section uh, you have here uh, many uh, things to choose from but uh, most common uh, we will go for the uh, round uh, cross section okay uh, so uh, spiral areas in spiral areas uh, you have uh, uh, many options but the thing that we uh, went with is the uh, geometry based uh, spiral area uh, with a radius about 21 okay uh, so uh, as you can see here is uh, the uh, volute is uh, created so we, we will have to complete it first okay uh, diffuser uh, diffuser uh, you can set the diffuser which is outlet of the uh, volute uh, so uh, I think you can have the height which uh, for our case we set it to be uh, 20 uh, and the integral section which is this uh, so we have it uh, circle uh, with diameter about uh, 10 millimeter so uh, you have here uh, more options uh, so you can choose what is uh, 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 suitable for you uh, other option is the radial diffuser but it's not uh, uh, not common 
uh, for this plan you can change uh, the uh, layout of points and uh, of course the height okay so basically here we will go for um, <coughs> tangential uh, diffuser with a head of 20 and diameter of 10 okay so also we have a 3d view of the uh, diffuser okay for the uh, cut water angle cut water angle is uh, simply uh, the angle uh, from here to here so uh, uh, based on uh, preferred studies we uh, knew that the cut water angle uh, of our case uh, should be about uh, 20 uh, to uh, from 18 to 25 uh, so we choose an approximate value of 21 as you can see uh, this uh, this angle automatically change so uh, basic uh, function of this angle is uh, that if you increase it uh, so if you make it about 30 uh, you will have here separation at ed loss so uh, your uh, streamlines won't be uh, very good and your head will be uh, decreased significantly uh, also if uh, you have it about 10 uh, this would create much losses in here so uh, for our approximate value uh, we will uh, set it to 21 okay uh, So uh, here uh, for this CD setup, we will go for it uh, uh, another video. Model setting, you can uh, see uh, if you want to change any value, but we have to uh, set the program set. Okay, so uh, okay, so we have here the uh, impeller with the volute, we'll change it okay so if you want to have a better uh, view of it so you go here and change this to extend plate only okay and uh, see the impeller which is a better view from uh, the previous one so uh, here also uh, you can uh, choose if you uh, want to uh, show points or geometry or uh, any of these but mostly common you will uh, uh, go for the default value and uh, for the uh, CD uh, CFD setup uh, you will uh, go for uh, the uh, default uh, plus uh, CD uh, CFD set okay so we have uh, here created uh, the impeller uh, with the uh, volume okay so uh, this is the end of the first video